Bundahorn Antiques. Oh my. Ah, uh, hello. Oh goody. A little girl. Did you not read the sign? No, of course you didn't. <gasps> Look at that music box. That's not just a music box. That's an heirloom of the great Viennese dancer. <gasps> Look at that puppy. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> really, is it any wonder I don't like kids in here? That, my dear child, is the exquisite craftsmanship of the late Madame. <gasps> Look at that monkey! Yeah! <clears throat> He's playing cymbals. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. Your store has so many cute things, mister. Hmm, yes, whatever you say. You don't seem to be leaving, so go ahead, look around. Then be off with you. You can't afford anything anyway. Aw, he is a cute one. But also a little crazy looking. Excuse me, mister. How much is this? Much too much. Like everything else in here. Hmm. That's not very helpful. Oh, I always wanted to see a clown. This hat looks a bit rough, too. Must have been a clown that traveled a lot. Such odd, dusty, dirty clothes. Must be a strange kind of fellow to wear something like that. Excuse me, mister. How much- Much too- Hmm. Excuse me, mister. Much too much. Hmm. Ooh, it's like a magician's hat. I wonder if there's any rabbits in there. Oh, this looks particularly special. So shiny and detailed and pretty. There's an engraving on it that says it's a magical violin. Enchanted to play the most sweetest music, no matter how inexperienced the player. Oh. And as a result, the single most valuable, expensive, and unaffordable item in this shop. Oh. Ooh, what an interesting assortment of things. A necklace, a spinning top, a train. Wow, Grandpa has one of these at home, but this one is really beautiful. Maybe before I go back with the cure, I can get this for a present. Ding! I think it's for getting the shopkeeper's attention, like this. Ding! <coughs> oh, these are really quite lovely. Such pretty details and artwork. He's playing cymbals. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. I'm right here. You really don't have to do that. No, really. Stop it. <sighs> Why did I even buy that thing? I'm ignoring you, if you didn't already realize. <clears throat> Stop it! Eep! I'm not sure I've seen such a sour looking man before. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Do you? Nope. But I... Please, no more talking. Just be done with your looking and leave me be. Oh, okay then. What can I get with this? Th that's... God, where did you... <clears throat> I, I mean, oh, uh, a shiny rock. No, silly. It's a diamond. These are meant to be worth a bit. 
aren't they? Oh, yes, how silly of me. I'm not so sure they're worth that much, really. Enough for that pretty violin, maybe? Ha! <laughs> Good grief, no. No, I think this is more in the range of... That lantern, over there on the ground. That's about all this can buy. Oh, that's it? Nothing else? At all? Take it or leave it, my final offer. Well, I guess it is more useful than a little stone. All right, it's a deal. <laughs> Wait a second. This is broken. It's an antique, you little brat. What do you expect? Nothing lasts forever. Oh, yeah. I guess that's fair enough. Thank you for the trade, mister. Mm, just get out of here. chopping firewood. Chop, chop, chop. I love doing that back home. This kind of looks menacing here, though. Uh, no, I'll pass. I looked at more than enough gross things in Winfrieda's tower. What a creepy old thing. Out here in the dark? Yikes. What a creep... All right. Thieves or not... It's time someone talked to this bunch. Ah, who, who's that? Oh no, it's not the boy ghost, is it? Jeez, will you listen to you two? Bunch of no good. See, just a measly little brat. Hey, I'm not a brat. I don't think. What do you want, huh? What you doing out here? Okay, now... My grandpa always told me that stealing is... Wait, wait, wait. Your grandpa? What is this? You even know where you are right now, huh? Do you? A uh, house that you and your friends have, uh, occupied and... I'm stopping you there, yeah? You best turn back. Turn back, little girl. This, this is a murderer's house you're trying to enter here. I'm warning you now. You turn and walk away, and that will be the last of it. Now beat it! Oof. How rude. They think they can just bully everyone to get their own way. Scare them away all the time. Well, not if I can help it. I think two can play at that game. Did I tell you? They are all long and thin and stringy, like spaghetti. They're really stuck on tight. Tough little things they are. Oh yes! This would make for great sewing thread. Fixed. Those days of practicing my sewing really paid off. Oh, and make a kind of fake ghost costume thing. The themes were talking about ghost stories. That might not be a bad idea. Hmm. It's still missing something, though. There were some more details the thieves mentioned. I should go listen again. Wondering, this lantern, is there any way you can make it work again? Oh, are you kidding me? Piece of cake! One second.
Done and done. Oh, wow. That really was quick. Thank you so much. I'll let you... That's pretty convincing, really. Would sure scare me if I saw it floating around the woods. give these guys a taste of their own medicine. Ooh! Did, did you use hear that? Ah, uh, hear what? Ooh! The dead! Oh, I, I did! You, you don't think. First you lot are shaking and stamming over a little kid, and now some wind? Useless. Really, the both of you. There's nothing here but... 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 Ah! <laughs> what is it? Is it... It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's Excuse me. Greetings again, Kamana. What is it you interrupt the great Van Betoriki with now? Brustwick, I did it. I found a place for all of you to stay. By Jove! You don't mean it! I do mean it. Come on, I'll show you. So, what do you guys think? Hmm. Quaint. Quiet. Tranquil, even. It is no Schloss Sans Souci, but perhaps I shall lower my expectations in this instance. Yes, perhaps. Very well. You have helped the great Rustvik van Betoriki to retire in peace. For that, you have my sincerest gratitude. Thank you, my dear. You are most welcome, Rustvik. I'm glad I could help. Now, if you'll excuse me... Aren't happy endings so nice? <laughs>